Hiya! Welcome back to another exhilarating video featuring the C1. Um, what I'm going to do today is something that I should have probably done a while ago. Now, if you look at my other videos, there's a video of me changing the CB joint. And I should have done this video then, or I should have done this job then, really. Um, and, and, well, sorted the gearbox oil out, because I think I probably dropped a bit, I can't remember. But... Anyway, I'm going to change the gearbox oil. Um, I haven't posted a video for longer than usual because, well, I had a couple of videos planned to do. And I just do them as they come. I don't schedule them, as people probably noticed. Um, and I had some plans to do, and they didn't go, well, they didn't go ahead. Uh, and one of them is why my car looks like some sort of serial killer's nest. Um, but I'll explain that now. I'll show that now. Um, it's, well, it's also... How I've worn my gearbox oil up ready, so I don't need to do that as well. So I'll show you that and then we'll start with this one. Right, so we've got a bit of slush on the floor and it's uh, we are going uphill. And as it stands, I mean, if I was in the other car now, I wouldn't be going anywhere, but with a bit of um, persuasiveness, I can get up here quite well. I won't say it's easy, easy, I'm slipping quite a bit, but uh, you know, it's, it's not a problem really. Are you driving snow? Yes. So anyway, let's try our snow chains. So now we're on a bit of proper snow. Right, so without going backwards, I've now managed to get myself stuck so let's try our snow chains there's no getting out of this without them at least i'm not the only person stuck so it's quite windy so you probably can't hear me which might be a blessing in disguise but anyway first thing i'm going to do is pull this off and then we're going to fit some snow chains proper ones so this is our diy snow chains and all it is is decent sized cable ties put on tyre and hopefully when I turn the wheel it won't just rip itself off on the brake caliper probably should check that before I start trying to drive anywhere yes Bambi so that completely didn't work because well it just ripped them straight off as soon as it turned it just did the caliper and ripped the cable ties off so as you've just seen our gearbox should be nice and warm now the oil is well this is the one that i've been given off the reg at the local motor factors for it and it's 7580s gl4 i think is what i was read reading online but i'm assured that this is the right one because it says gl4 there and it's 75 fs probably 75 fully synthetic foot nose but I'm told it's the right one, it's probably better than what's in. So then we need two litres of that, or 1.8 litres. 24 millimetre spanner, something to fill it up with. And something to drop the old oil into. So, before you go any further, really, before you drain the oil, you want to take the fill plug out, because you don't want to drain the oil, and then you can't get the fill plug out. So I'll show you where that is. So from the top, there is our fill plug a bit grey and you can't really see it but we're going to go underneath and have a proper look so there from the top now on the front of the gearbox see if I can get it where we can see there is our 24mm level plug so first before anything else I want to take that out which, well, it's undoing a bolt, so I'm sure you can work that out without watching me. So I'll crack that off, and then I'll show you the drain plug, which is actually just round there on the dip. So once you have 
undone the fill plug or the level plug and made sure that you can get to that you can then go to your drain plug which is here now this because of this web on the on the casting would be easy with a socket but that would mean going and getting a socket so i've just struggled with the spanner and managed to crack it off um but if you are struggling a socket it'd probably be easier so anyway once we take that out so we've undone both and now we put our top quality oil catchment on right so we put this underneath because we want to catch this for later um the gear oil now it usually gear oil is quite known for not smelling the best but we saved this because it's really good for arthritis so if you drink it before you go to bed just you know a cup full every night for about a year or so then you know any aching joints that you've got you should sort out so there's our gear oil draining away and we'll leave that to do that will take the fill plug out and it'll come out faster now while that's draining i was going to change the washers but the washer that i've picked up is not a very good size and to be honest with you they're not i mean yeah it's an old washer but that'll go again uh size wise foot washer um probably 16 mil by the look of it that i guess but don't quote me on that so once we finish draining we'll put our uh our drain plug back in and ideally with a new washer on it but as i said i've picked up the wrong size so these will have to do again and torque settings I'm not sure how accurate this information is, but I've been, well, I've read 29 newton meters for the drain plug and 39 for the fill plug. But we're just gonna, uh, well, just gonna do it the, uh, the normal way that I do it. So the next thing you wanna do is position your ball underneath your filler plug. Now obviously, this is one of them jobs that would be easier, not on the floor, with a proper, well, a gear oil pump. Um, anyway, once that you make sure that your hose is inserted into the hole correctly, then you can start to fill. Uh, you can't really see that, but it's just something that you'll have to sort of work out as you're, uh, as you're struggling with it yourself. And then, we just fill it up until it starts coming out. Um, fortunately this gear oil isn't too thick otherwise it will take a very long time through this hose so I'm just going to keep on filling until it spunks out everywhere so we're on our second bottle now halfway down so it's one and a half litres there and we just keep on filling that up and then watch it down here until you see the hose there and then we're waiting to see some dribble out and then we fall. So this is the money shot. And there we fall. So don't worry if you overfill it because it'll just drain into there. Um, another thing that I didn't mention is that when you're doing this, the car does need to be level. So when that stops, we'll um, put our plug back in. And when it's finished, you do want to remove your hose gently. wait for that to stop and then we'll put this back in so now all we've done after that is tighten the fill plug up which i haven't shown because you can't really see it anyway um and then we can uh, we can save this as i said it's good mercedinal um for joint pain and um, so we'll save this to put in a in a broth and then that's us done Use gear oil to be consumed at your own risk. And if you are dumb enough to consume, use gear oil. Then I can't be held accountable for your dumb actions. And you're a fucking idiot. So on another note, we've got this calendar here. And it's from the uh, City Book Club. And it features the uh, most loved and cherished uh, C1 Igos, 107s, 108s, etc. 
from around the country and well some are probably even international so the best of the best is on here and as we come out of january which is always fun to come out of january anyway and then we're coming into february it's getting lighter but the best thing is yes look at that we are featured so the best of the best all these look at that it fits right in with these but nicely done nicely done yes so i just thought i'd point that out these calendars get them from um city bug club store on the uh on the facebook page i got this and uh so uh, just the best of the best of these city bugs from international yeah so that's all for this one um don't forget to smash that like subscribe comment and all that sort of stuff and i'll see you next time